today I want to talk to you about the this idea or I, I guess saying that's out there all the time um, that it takes money to make money. Um, I, I don't entirely disagree, but a, a lot of what our cash rich business workshop is based around um, so, sort of combats that statement a little bit um, in, in the sense that once we once we run through our cash rich business workshop, um, a, a, probably our biggest objection that we get from business owners to implement it all um, is to say, oh look, like I can't cut my expenses by that that much. I need to spend all of this money to make money, um, which look sometimes uh, you, you do need to spend some cash, but. What will we teach in the workshop? And, and, and I want to give you two simple, simple principles today to help you to, to know, okay, well, what can I cut? What can't I cut? What should I negotiate? What shouldn't I negotiate? Um, and stuff like that. Before I get into it, though, um, I just want to do a quick run through of the Cash Rich Business Workshop. Uh, again, just so those of you who haven't seen it, haven't been there, um, have a bit of an idea of, of what we cover off on. So, sort of the key thing that you need to know about the Cash Rich Business Workshop is that we believe that the profit formula formula isn't right. Um, it doesn't work. It's it's it's. I guess if you're trying to run a business by it, it's it's going to be very hard to turn a profit. And why I say that, if you don't have an accounting or finance background, is the original profit formula says that um, revenue minus expenses equals your profit, which makes sense. That's true. That that is how you calculate profit. What we say though is that doesn't work because we're human beings. We have natural tendencies and desires and emotions and this, that and the other that pull us away. And what I mean by that, it's found in this simple economic principle called Parkinson's Law. What Parkinson's Law says is that if there's an available resource, it'll be used up. And that simple principle is so easy to find sort of anywhere in the world in the sense that for me, with my uni assignments, if I've got if if I've got three weeks to complete a uni assignment, I'll take the three weeks to complete the uni assignment. Realistically, I'll probably do nothing for the first two and a half weeks, and then smash out the assignment in the last two and a half days. But I'll I'll, I'll use up that entire f period of time to um to work on that assignment. Uh, this is the same sort of thing when money is involved and that's why we say that the traditional profit formula doesn't really work because if your revenues are up here and your expenses are down here, Parkinson's law says that that available resource of revenue will be used up. So ultimately you'll start finding more expenses to, to occur to match your revenues. I mean that, that's found in personal life as well. You. People say all the time, you, you live to your means. If, if, if you're earning $80,000 a year, you, you'll live a lifestyle that um, meets the $80,000 a year that you're earning. Anyway, so, so we believe that Parkinson's law plays a big part in how businesses are run and how profits are made. And so um, in, instead of combating this, um, this I guess natural tendency to use up everything that we have available to us. Um, the cash rich business method teaches us to, to, to better manage our, our normal urges. One of the main ways that we do that is by having business owners operate out of five, five key accounts, um, which is your in account, which just means money comes into that account and that's from where you distribute it. And then throughout the month you distribute it to four other accounts which are essentially your four main purposes for money in a business. Firstly being profit, then owners pay, then tax and operational expenses. So that's the cash rich business method. That's, that's how it works, that, that's our thinking behind it. Once we've gone through that workshop, we get, to, um, we get to the stage where we say to business owners, okay, well, what we want you to implement is to um, set up a profit account, that's the number one thing. And then the next big step is to cut 10% um, of your operational expenses. We call this trimming the fat. That's our sort of um, key term. The, the reason is that um, it, it, in order to fund all the different fluctuations and stuff that's going to be happening in your business, by applying the cash rich business method to your business, you're gonna need some, some room to move. So as a rule of thumb, we've said 10% needs to go. This is the time when business owners often say, look, I need money to make money. This isn't going to work. I need to spend what I'm spending. 
every dollar is accounted for. We found time and time after time and time again that it, it, it really just isn't the case always. Um, and, and so we we give them two sort of key principles to okay, how are we going to either cut um, your expenses entirely, just get rid of what what, what you're spending, um, or negotiate it down. So um, our, our two rules there is in terms of cutting expenses is cut everything that doesn't make your business more efficient or your customers happy. That's just a rule of thumb. If you work through all of your expenses, anything that doesn't tick one of those boxes has to go. Everything else that you're left with, so, so your necessary expenses, the, the, the ones that tick those boxes and are in fact necessary in order for you to, to, to manage your business efficiently and to keep your customers happy, everything else gets negotiated. Um, everything else gets negotiated but wages. We are very firm in that. We, we don't believe in deciding or come, leaving a cash rich business workshop and, and going back to your staff and saying, look guys, we're going to cut wages, uh, we're going to cut expenses so everyone has to take a 50% pay cut. Um, <laughs> it, it's, not, it's not their fault that your expenses are high. So um, those are our rules. First one is cut everything that doesn't make you more efficient or keep your staff happy or, or keep your customers happy. And the second one is negotiate everything else. Um, that's probably one of the biggest feedbacks that the feedback that we get from our uh, from people that have gone through the workshop is um, that them saying, "Hey, look, I was applying this the other day, and I went to Optus, or I went to Telstra, I went to um, this provider with with a competitor's quote, and they were able to match it, or they were able to cut costs, and, and, and simple things like that can save you hundreds um, in the month, in the year, wherever else." Anyway. Um, that's my little little spiel for today. Um, I hope that helped. If you've got any questions, comment below. Um, Cash Rich Business Workshop, guys. Uh, comment in the group and uh, we'll have a chat about it. Thank you so much. See you guys.